Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Magnius, and welcome back after a long vacation to Minecraft Dinosaurs. We are back in Minecraft Dinosaurs, back in our world. Most of our dinosaurs are still here as far as I know, I don't think any of them have gone missing. But we are going to, before we do anything else, we have lots of things to talk about. Reasons for my vacation, along with uh, some dinosaur news as well as space news. As always, always lots of space news. I have taken the time to get a Smilodon embryo so that we can finally replace Scar. Heavens knows where Scar went, but we are going to replace him with a new little Smilodon. Come here, cow, your time is at an end. I'm so sorry. I always feel bad when I do this, you know? Impregnating these poor cows and then they get eaten by their children. But that's life. That's the circle of life. I learned about that in a Disney movie once. Actually, come to think of it, that's another mod the poet did that I never did try out. Maybe I should try that one day. But anyway, so, reasons for my long vacation. Those of you who are watching this video later, maybe you didn't even know I had a vacation, but I did. It all started with me being very tired and very busy with volunteer work. As you guys know, I'm currently in the process of becoming a Korean citizen, but first I have to get my permanent residency and all that, and in order to do that, I need to do lots of volunteer hours. In fact, I need to do 50 hours per year within the calendar year, three years in a row, which means a total of 150. Now, I've already done more than 150 hours of community service and volunteer work. However, I haven't done them in the correct years. I need three years in a row, 50 years each. So, unfortunately, the past hours that I've done, for example, doing 70 hours in one particular year that I did. 20 of those hours just don't count. No one cares about them. So I had to do lots of community service in December. December is basically almost over now. Quite tired. Ended up not recording most days. And by most days, I mean like three and a half weeks. Many apologies, but you know, it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, going to be recording Beasts of Prey and another dinosaur game which I've never played before but apparently Alri likes it so we're gonna be doing that as a sort of way for me to show my my sadness and my apologies to all of you because I know you guys love dinosaurs so we're gonna be doing that there's also dinosaur news sorts of horned dinosaur news for North America we'll go over that in just a bit we're gonna save that for later perhaps after the birth of the Smilodon saber tooth cat wherever it is, if it ever comes out of this cow. And the space news. Uh, actually, the entire time that I didn't record a video, I was waiting for a SpaceX launch. I would have recorded a SpaceX launch and posted it. Unfortunately, it ended up not happening at all. In fact, it ended up not happening. It was delayed, I think, twice, maybe. But anyway, it ended up being delayed due to some problems with a static fire. And then after the static fire was cleared, the SpaceX launch, I believe it is the fifth commercial resupply mission to the International Space Station. I think that's what they're on now. Um, due to orbital problems and docking issues, it's been delayed to January 6th, which is in a week from now, my time. So hopefully I will be able to see that and it will be amazing. This particular flight isn't really that important for the commercial resupply. That's, you know, that's happened plenty of times already. That's nothing new. But what's interesting is, of course, as usual, the first stage with the landing legs, they are going to be attempting to land it on a barge in the middle of the ocean. As you guys remember, if you've watched the other launches, they've attempted to land the first stage of the rockets on the ocean several times. And several times they've been basically successful, you know, reaching the ocean surface without falling apart. But then, you know, things like typhoon waves and craziness and all sorts of problems with rough seas have broken the first stages into pieces. Including one time when it falling over on its side broke it up into pieces. Which is sad. Ow, the baby! Baby Smilodon. And it's angry, and before you know it, it's gonna kill its mom and eat its flesh. Go ahead, go, go kill your mom. I know it's gonna happen eventually. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. No, you're not going to? Okay, that's cool. Anyway, I'll continue to talk while I wait for you to uh, eat this cow. 
But yeah, so this time instead of landing on the ocean, they think that they have maybe a 50% chance of being able to aim the rocket first stage accurately enough to land on a barge in the ocean. Barge is very, very small in the ocean, but you know, maybe they can do it. We're going to see. If they do indeed land, they're going to use lots of time. You just climbed up those vines. How did you... You are ridiculous, Smilodon, baby. But yeah, so they're going to use lots of time to check out the first stage, see how much stress has been put on it, if it's broken and stuff like that, how many times they may be able to reuse it. But needless to say, that will be a world first. It'll be awesome. Why are you not killing this cow? Is this something new that they updated? Maybe they updated this uh, behavior for the, the saber cats. Maybe they don't kill their moms anymore. That's cool, cow. You can, you can stay here for now. Hang out with your son or daughter. So our last saber cat was named Scar. I don't know what to name this one. Please do let me know below in the comments. We, are you following me? Better not be following me, cause I. Oh no. It's following me. Okay, fine, fine. Um. Oh, that's a creeper. Hello, creeper. You are not supposed to be here in our home. Oh, you're in the water. This is great. Oh, that's not great. Get back in the water. Get back in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay in the water. Stay in the water. See, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care at all. Um, you are not supposed to be following me. Why? Why was he born tame? I don't understand. Hello, kitty. This was not supposed to happen. I thought that when they're born, they're not tame and you have to give them milk. Why did they change this? You you cannot follow me around. I do not have the time or the patience for this saber cat. Oh my gosh. You remind me of the clingy plesiosaur. All those years ago. Two years ago, I think, actually. Wow, that was a long time ago. Can't believe we've been, we've been playing this freaking mod for two years. Come here. Okay. Um. Surely. Surely. Stop. Sit. How do I control saber cats? I want. I. I want him to be off follow. I want. I don't want him to be on stay though. That's just not cool. I want to see him moving around. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. Haven't done anything with these stegosaurus eggs yet. I really need to build a stegosaurus enclosure. Hmm. What do, what do? Oh well. We're gonna leave that there for now. What we do need, if you guys remember when we were building our allosaurus enclosure, we needed lots and lots of iron bars. Unfortunately, as we continued to build it, we ran out of iron bars. And I also, I believe, no longer have any iron. Which is quite sad, because I really don't feel like going and mining any, but we, uh, we're gonna have to. Also, I think... I think our Allosaurus needs a name. He's been sitting here for quite a long time. Wait. Didn't we already name him? Is this where the name is? Oh uh, no, this is, this is Ares. That's, that's the old sign. For our T-Rex that used to be here. Let's see, where's our sign? Okay, I'm gonna name you... Ali, since so many people want it to be named Ali, but I can't remember any of your names at the moment. I'll add your names next time. But yeah, our Allosaurus is named Ali, which isn't a very interesting name. Sort of cliche name, I guess you could say. Easily predictable. But since so many people love it, how can I... How can I get in the way of democracy, you know? So, there you go. There's... Ali. Ollery? Ali? Ali? I don't know. Anyway, we need more iron. We need a lot more iron. We need tons more iron. And we're going to get that and make some more iron bars. Now, the question is, where should I go to get my iron? I do not want to go where I usually go, which is to my mine, because the mine is incredibly boring. How about if we run this way, along the coast, or maybe along a river? I have completely fixed, I used a lot of diamonds to fix all of my tools. So that should be no problem. 
Let's see if I can find a uh, stone wall to start digging into somewhere over here. What is this? Oh, that's a that's a creeper. It's a creeper hole. All right, everyone, and we're back. The reason that you probably just experienced a giant cut in footage editing out like 15 minutes of footage is because I basically wandered around for 15 minutes or so looking for a cave or a tunnel or anything interesting at all, you know, iron, stuff like that, and I was unable to find anything for like 15 minutes, and that's terrible footage. We're going to edit that all out, and we're going to start here where I found this ravine. This was actually, if you remember the sand place where we got our sandstone, I dug down, and this is where we ended up, so that's cool. I uh, placed down some blocks and some torches, and other than that, this is a new stuff and I have no idea what we're going to find other than probably the usual ravine stuff, monsters and demons and stuff like that. So, let us continue discussing the various things. Oh, fossils. Hello. And there's another ancient sword, which I will never use. But yeah, so, before we discuss the dinosaur news, which I had to edit out all of that discussion because there was nothing interesting happening on screen anyway... Um, the dinosaur news is about Neoceratopsians, Neoceratopsians in the early Cretaceous period. But first, we're going to discuss the Java thing. So Java, if I don't know if you guys went through this. If you used Forge during a certain period, apparently this happened sometime when I stopped recording. Uh, Java updated to Java 8, which I automatically installed on my computer, no problem. But the first time I tried to play with this version of Forge to use my mods on this version of Java, Java 8. Didn't work at all. Apparently this was a huge problem with how Forge works with Java. Apparently it just plain doesn't work with Java 8. So if any of you guys are still for some reason having problems with that, uninstall Java 8, install Java 7. Works fine. Really scared me for a moment. Thought I had uh, completely lost my ability to play Minecraft. <laughs> really, really scared me. But it's okay. We're all good now. And... Other than that, let us discuss the dinosaur news, the Neoceratopsians of North America in the early Cretaceous period. This is a new species of dinosaur which has been discovered. A new species of dinosaur discovered in North America. Uh, so many biofossils which I feel uncomfortable jumping down here to try to grab. Need some more light because we always lack light with the YouTube videos. Yay, so much light. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. There. So, the Ceratopsians, like the Ceratopsidae, they're probably actually the same family and I don't know what I'm talking about, but you guys know them. Three horns and other horned dinosaurs. Pretty awesome looking. Frills, giant bone plates across their necks. Those guys were awesome. Now, the Neoceratopsians of North America during the early Cretaceous period, about 113 million years ago to 105 million years ago, these guys look quite different from Triceratops. These guys, the new species, I think it's called, what is it called? It's Aquilops or Aquilops? I don't know, A-Q-U-I-L-O-P-S. These things do not look like Triceratops at all. They're really, really tiny. They're like the size of crows. So they're like the size of small birds. They may have been bipedal instead of quadrupeds. At least according to the, uh, the artist's rendition. Which, of course, artist's renditions are not very awesome sometimes. I mean, they're awesome because they look good. But they're not always exactly the most accurate. Oh, please don't kill me, skeleton. Not the most accurate things in the world. So, you know, take that with a, a grain of salt. But they had little beaks, so they were similar to Triceratops in that way. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Bring it. Wow, the knockback on this thing. Oh, bye. Sorry. Oh. Um, but yeah, so they were similar to Triceratops in that they had a beak and they had sort of a frill on their neck. Not three huge horns, though. Which, uh... Should I just jump down? Should I jump down? I feel like I should jump down. Is there anything down there? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Oh well. I'll I'll just I'll just deal with it. It'll be fine. I'm fine, I'm good. Don't 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 kill me. Okay, so like I said, North America early Cretaceous period, 113 million to 105 million years ago. 
Apparently the fossil record was completely lacking the Neoceratopsians for the North American region in the early Cretaceous, so this is the first time that we've gotten one of these. Which is cool because it helps us sort of fill in some missing information on the ecosystem at the time. It also enables us to start to put together a family lineage of the Neoceratopsians. I cannot see the creeper that I'm fighting. There we go. The knockback on the sword is a little bit ridiculous to say the least, though I've been using it for quite a while. There's some iron ore up there. And that's really cool. Um, I forgot where they found the fossil, actually. Where they found the fossil, or if it was one of those things that was, like, stashed away in a museum. Uh, oh, hello. Forever, and, you know, they just now discovered that it was in their storeroom in the back room for years and years. So, who knows. But if you would like to read about that yourself, I always forget to mention this, if you would like to read the dinosaur news yourself, Science Daily link below in the video description. I, uh, I do not, in fact, I do not, in fact, have any affiliation with silent, uh, Science Daily, not silent, Science Daily. I just use them to check up on dinosaur news, so I'm not getting any sort of referral money or anything like that for linking you. You can feel free to go and search it on your own as well. For being a ravine, this does not have as much iron as I was expecting. I'm quite disappointed in the amount of iron. No? Plenty of fossils up there. But we have plenty of fossils from the dirt that we have, so I'm not really worried about fossils. So many bones. Don't need any of those. Um, wow, this, this ravine actually is pretty sad. Um, I feel let down. Oh, hello. Nope, never mind. Come on. Come here, creeper. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, creeper. Boom. Alright, that was fun. Eee. Hmm. So, actually, I'm sort of curious. Every, every time I take some sort of break or something like that from YouTube, there's always a... sort of a... Sort of a time period where I have to wait and see how many people are still around, how many people still watch the videos, because although we did gain another 500, 550 subs during- Oh! Oh, hello. During December, you know, some of the people who used to be very loyal subs who watched all the videos, some of them disappear for a while, some of them come back later, you know, stuff like that. But I, uh, I don't know what three, three weeks is going to do. I think that's actually the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube after I started. Which is uh, understandable, you know, because YouTube is, uh, it's, it's not as time consuming as you would think it is on a daily basis. However, it's very stressful in the fact that even if you have a headache, even if you're sick, even if, you know, there are tons of things that are going on, you're very busy, whatever, you, uh, you sort of have to do it or people start, get, start to get angry at you, um, the pressure of always having to upload sort of gets to you after a while, I guess you could say. And it's not that... That's a really bad feeling because, of course, you know, recording and rendering and uploading doesn't take that much time. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. However, once you get to like three days without uploading something, you start to feel really guilty. And then you start getting afraid of recording. You know, what if, what if I sound bad? What if, what if I've lost my edge? These things sort of pile up after a while, and before you know it, you haven't recorded for weeks, and then you feel even worse. I feel terrible right now, but it's, uh, it's okay, because at least I'm going to upload this, and then hopefully continue to upload through the new year. That's that's one of my my new goals. As you guys may have noticed, we've uh, we've lost sort of the edge of always uploading one video per day, and hopefully I can regain that back again. That's one of my New Year's resolutions, to try to do that. Oh, there we go. There's some iron. 
We'll see if that's possible. I don't know. There's also sort of a, a new thing that I'm going to be doing over the uh, the beginning of the year. We're going to see if that works out as well. I need I need someone who can make me like a free graphic. I talked to some people who are into graphics design and stuff like that, but unfortunately, um, I don't think that their their prices would be in my budget since a lot of them were professionals. Yeah, I don't know. Any of you guys good with Photoshop and want to like make me some graphics for like, I don't know, 10 or 20 bucks? Because <laughs> otherwise, you know, with the January coming up, which uh, does absolutely nothing for ad revenue, I think that's basically everything in here, right? I think, I think that's it. Are we done here? I think we're done. I don't think there's anything else in this ravine that's worth doing. But yeah, for like 10 or 20 bucks, does someone want to make me some, some graphics? Cause that would be cool. That I can't, I can't really afford to do anything else. <laughs> oh man. I really wish we were getting 1,400,000 views per, per month still. That would be cool. That would be awesome. May as well take all of this dirt and take it back home, you know? Since we have sifters, there's probably some DNA in here somewhere. We still don't have any Brachiosaurus DNA. Super annoying. That was anticlimactic. I sort of expected a tunnel out of this. Meh. No. No tunnels here. Wait, what's that? Bone? What is that? Oh, that's flint. Never mind. Oh, God. Reminder to always use these. They're your friends, Magnus. Torches. And I cannot think of anything else to talk about in this video, which is okay, because assuming that only 10 minutes of my last recording footage was, like, actually worth anything. Um, I'm going to assume that this is about 20 minutes for the video, which is, which is okay. That's about how long they need to be anyway. So, after I completely destroy this, this gravel area and hopefully grab myself some, some gravel for sifting back home... It's going to be the end of this episode. Don't forget to try to tune in to SpaceX webcast on January 6th, uh, 6th to check out the awesome barge landing. Hopefully they, they pull it off. I don't know if they will, but we'll see. And also don't forget to have an amazing new year. I hope you had a great Christmas and lots of Christmas presents. Let me know what you got for a Christmas present down below in the comments, actually. And that's about it. That is about it. Go read the Science Daily information for yourself for the new dinosaur if you would like to. So for now, that is everything. Thank you so much everyone for watching. My name is Magnius, and I will see you next time.